hello guys and welcome back to today's video so uh, in today's video in the python project series what we are going to do we are going to create a currency converter we are going to automate the script for which uh, you just have to provide the amount which we want to convert from one currency to other currency yeah so for that <clears throat> let's create a file first we'll say currency.py and we are going to make use of forex python and from which what we want we want currency rates okay so if you have not uh, downloaded forex python just uh, open a terminal just try to run this we'll get a new terminal and from the terminal you can just say pip install forex underscore python for me it is already installed but for you if it's not installed kindly just install it and then from forex python uh, we are we have to use converter also or else we won't get this currency rate okay so now we are getting our currency rates so let's define a function we'll say f we'll say convert currency and uh, we'll give one amount which is to be converted and from which currency we want to what currency is the amount we are providing and to which currency we want to convert yeah so three parameters will pass and now what we'll do we will initialize the currency rates because we want to make use of it we want all of the currency rates then we'll uh, put our code inside a try block so that we won't get errors we'll say uh, convert currency or let's say we have uh, used that function name okay so we'll say converted amount is equal to c dot convert we can make use of convert method so by using this method we can convert one currency to another currency so it, this makes our work very easy we just have to make use of our forex python and we'll say amount okay we have made a spelling mistake this will convert our amount and we'll just return this converted amount converted amount will return okay we'll provide a accept block we'll just print the exception if it occurs okay and we'll just return none if the there is some exception we'll just return none okay then in the main block what we'll say we'll say if we'll just uh, take the inputs will make the input uh, float to get accurate amount we'll say enter the amount to be converted okay then we'll say from per is equal to input enter the currency to convert from and we'll provide some example for the input so 
so user can either write usd or let's say inr or let's say eur okay and then we'll convert it to upper because user can give input in smaller case also now we'll provide two currency which currency we want to convert it to we'll say input share the currency to convert to and we'll provide an example again INR. okay and we'll convert it to <coughs> uppercase okay then we'll call our function a converted amount is equal to convert currency and inside which what will provide will provide the amount we have taken the amount as an input from cur from currency to cur to currency okay so this will work it will give us the converted amount so if uh, it gives us the uh, result as none so why is why does it give us none because uh, if the error has occurred it will return us none so we have to check that case also so we can say if converted amount so if the converted amount is equal is not none okay then only we'll say that we have got the answer so we'll print the answer we'll say f we can say amount we can say is equal to converted amount we'll just uh, keep two decimal points okay two curve will uh, write the currency the currency symbol okay yeah so this is about it let's try to run this yeah so enter the amount to be converted let's say we give it uh, as 82 let's say from inr want to convert to usd okay so it is equal to 0 0.90 usd okay so it is working properly you can convert now any currency to any other currency so we made use of forex python converter in this mini project so if you like this kind of videos kindly subscribe to the channel and give us a like so we are encouraged to make more more of these videos so i'll see you in the next video bye